Greetings to everybody from Mendes. Welcome back to Let's Play. As it says right there, Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. Yeah, I have 1%. Yay. In the last episode, we began the game. What's happening so far is that we were trying to go into the Co get to the Cooper Vault on uh, some island, but Dr. M has taken it over. So he managed to put a stop to us getting in there. And so... What was I about to say? Yeah, so... What happened is I captured us, and then we're having flashbacks to how we got there in the first place. So we had a little bit of tutorial, and now we're going into our first actual stage. Episode 1, An Opera of Thea. Oops. The hell. Oh, duh. I saw start episode, so I pushed start. Getting inside a world-class vault would take a team of world-class thieves. A group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. Oh, look at that. Paris. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian Outback, where he studied a mystic art called the Dreamtime from an Aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well, and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Growing up, this guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical taste changed. Suddenly, it was all about rock music and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. He held on to a few fans, and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous, but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. Sly Cooper and the gang in... God, feels good to say that again. An opera of fear. So two things I want to point out about that. One, they did a great job of keeping Sly 2 spoiler free. All they said was Bentley got injured during the whole clockwork affair. What the hell does that mean? If you hadn't played Sly 2, that just made you want to play Sly 2. You want to know what the hell happened to Bentley. How did he get injured? Injured. Injured. And number two, Cat uh, Sorry, brought this point up. I highly recommend you go watch his review, by the way. Um, but he, uh... It's a retrospective, really, more than anything. But it is a review. Uh, he already brought this up, but all each episode's bosses are their own individual bosses. They are, this guy's just the mob boss in Italy. There's, he has no ties to Dr. M. No one has ties to each other, and it's great. So, we have a job to pull off. And we have ThiefNet! Yay! I have one coin. Where did I get that coin? I don't remember. Whatever. Pizzeria. Yay. Given Murray's criminal past, it seems logical to start our search at the local police station. If he's not already in custody, the cops are sure to have leads on all the crooks in Venice. Okie dokie, Bentley. That massive dome marks the Venetian police station. Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, pal. There's always a way. And Sly is also at his most cunning, I believe, in this game, too. Caddy didn't bring that point. If memory serves, again, it's been a long time since I played this. But I'm fairly certain I'm remembering that correctly, that he is at his most cunning. He, he works at his best in this game. Really putting 
himself and his teammates to the test. Nice climbing, partner. I've got the blueprints to the vent system in front of me. I should be able to guide you to the jail cell. So yeah, so what it is that we're currently doing is we are trying to find out uh, exactly... Hey, Murray? Yeah, we're trying to find Murray you? right now. Because we need to get him back on our team and try also put a stop to Don Octavio if possible. Pain on my pants, bro. What? Yay! Cooper, you've got some fuzzy dice to come around here. Dimitri, long time no punch. See you're still in jail. And you're still a cracker box. <laughs> Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for main man Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get past in big time. God! Belinda! Wait. And boom! Great mechanic here. Gotta think of something to make him quiet. The hell, yo. I'll choose all of these. You can't fail these. Let me out to those cops but it's just great for extra dialogue. It'll be a heck of a cage match, and we both know who will win. Or did you forget Paris? <sighs> Worth it to see your smug face behind the bars. That didn't work. Cutting if a deal. If those cops get their mitts on me, who's gonna break you out of jail? You might get the cell door open, but the cops would throw down and bust oh. me on the way out. And then I'll get the double sentence. <laughs> Grief! Dang it. I chose the right one, which was the wrong one. Tell you what, I'll steal a couple of police uniforms, we'll suit up, and then just walk out the front door. Come on, man. I'm a fashion all-star. No way, no how I'm <laughs> dressing up in polyester pig suit. Ha. Some things worse than jail. <laughs> Look, I got in here through an air vent. We can both use it to escape. I can't fit in no vent. You spy my macho frame? I'm packing too much sexy muscle to fit in vent like you <laughs> stick those. Again, you can't get it How wrong, get so it's just great for extra dialogue. Run for it. Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free and Cooper is cooked. <laughs> Key for sale is in head cut lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here, and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Your attention, police. I thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. As we all know, the canals of Venice have been mysteriously filling with tar for the last month. No one is sure of the cause, but the effects have been devastating on the local wildlife and tourist trade. Our sources believe that this is responsible for the disaster. So, as we could see, no there's Carmelita. To the Yet another different Yet voice. To search his opera house mansion. So we're I don't remember who this one is. This I'll throw it up on screen. Get out there and keep but this is also this Carmelita you'll find to be my favorite. Not necessarily voice-wise, but character-wise. Well, also the voice acting is fantastic too, and really conveys some great scenes. Nice work. Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Let's get back to business now. Where was I? Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. Yep, so we already saw our pattern our way through the first time. So now we see exactly... We just gotta be under tables when the lights come on. The sparks there will alert see, you. Da? I can see! And click. Oh, come on. Also, our cops here are not cops. They are mercenaries. Could have gone to that other table, but I didn't feel like it. Be light. Yeah. <laughs> cops won't be cops throughout this entire game, actually. 
Hey, Carmelita, how you doing, girl? Brother, turn off, on off. And click. It's dark. Dark like the grave, huh? <laughs> I don't trust it. I'll go right from here. Yeah, I don't think I would have made that. You look a lot better in the dark, Petrov. Ha! Huh. Really? You That's how you know these people work together man. for a long time. <laughs> when they insult the shit out of each other. It's like Dustin and I. We never stop, actually. Can you really crack this coconut? Sure. Just take Other a mechanic. Touch. Locks are like this now. Let's see some shine, bro. I swear. We put vibration Stream to work. Me, and I'll hook you up with that plump dog, Mary. Big. Boom. So if you, if you couldn't tell what I was doing there, and distract the spun it so till it was that it vibrated, Don't spun it backwards till it vibrated again, then a third time forward till it vibrated. So yay. Big Italian landmark. Okay, guess it's showtime. So now we get to create a distraction. Hello, assorted meatheads. Ha! And lady. Anyone feel like some exercise? Cooper, grab him, man. And I'm out. Ha! The, I find the comedy, if, again, if memory serves, the comedy in this one is far superior as well. God, it's been way too long since I last played this. Just far too long. I've missed this game. It's like reuniting with long lost lover. You've got some serious nerve showing up in my squad room. I was concerned we were growing apart. Then let's spend some quality time together in my interrogation cell. So forward? What happened to the demure girl I used to know? She grew up and stopped taking grief from guys like you. Guys like me? Are you saying I've got some competition for your affections? You're the only man in my sights right now. Ah! She hit me. Helps if I run. <laughs> so the dialogue between the two of them is just better. Continues to be great. Whoa. Boing? Whoosh. And I think... I can't quite tell... Actually, you're technically in front of me. Do we have a height? Why'd she? Why, what are you doing, Carmelita? Oh, okay, I see. Greetings. It looks like it's she ma. Box. We might have. Man, you're in it again. <laughs> Hope that man will work both ways. That's right. Hide in the sewers like the rat you are. It looks like the height thing has been fixed this time, kind of. Thanks at least closer. That or she's just naturally Thank taller you. than him. Maybe Sly's just of short. Course, searcher. We are all in need of peace. You're really whole hog on this dream time stuff, huh? My mind is clear. Like the woodland after a forest fire. Listen, Marie, we need you back on the team. That thing with Bentley, it wasn't your fault. He doesn't blame you for the wheelchair. Sorry, Sly. I walk a different path. My guru and his wisdom told me to lose myself and not return until the black water ran pure. So here I stay. You sure he didn't tell you to get lost and not come back until you cleaned out the water filter? Come on, I'm on a real spirit quest here. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Tell me everything. I've missed you, pal. Friendship. Well, it's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? <laughs> Uh, true friendship. That all seems very brighter to me. Oh, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just crazy. Murray refuses to join the gang until the commitment to his guru has been fulfilled. Whether we like it or not, we've got to deal with Venice's tar problems in order to, as Murray puts it, Make the black water run pure. Thanks to Inspector Fox's fine detective work, we already know that Don Octavio is somehow connected. 
as non-law operatives, we'll be able to tackle the situation in a more head-on fashion. First, we break into Octavio's Opera House. If he's hiding anything, we'll find him. We should also keep a close eye on the dog. Some photographic evidence of him connected to the tar might be enough to get the old mobster put away. Of course, meanwhile, I'll monitor local communication frequencies. With some luck, we might pick up some quality intel. Yep, so we have the slideshows again. And... New training. Um... Yeah, we'll take on the hazard room. That'll be a good way to go for the rest of the episode. And also, I believe I might get another trophy out of it, too. Should be good. I don't actually know if I'll get more trophies. Right. I just I'm always really want more trophies. Gonna test your climbing skills here. You can use your cane to swing from hooks. Just jump and press the circle button again to latch on. Yep, so we obviously know how to do this. This is one of the very first things in the first game we've been using ever since. It's great! If you ever get in the jam, it's smart to glide your way out of trouble. I hear that. Press the circle button near that pipe to latch on and climb. Climbing! More climbing! I just love pipes. Is that okay? Sure, they're a thief's best friend, but don't forget wall hooks. Yeah, and we immediately learn about these ones too. That's another great. We're not having to wait until like chapter. Of what was it? Six to actually use these things. Boing. 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 Try getting over this wall. That's it. I give. You've made it through all my challenges. Hey, don't feel bad. Those wall hooks were kind of tricky. <laughs> it was all supposed to be tricky. Anyhow, you've proven you know how to get around. A word to the wise. Anywhere you sense a thieving opportunity, you know, see the blue sparkles, you can use a circle button move. Pretty handy. Yes. Yes, it is. Yep. And so now... Dun dun. Counts as a job. And it counts towards percentage. Oh! Oh, there's more. Now we got one more thing here. Enemies! Pickpocketing. Right, Let me have it. In order to maintain our lavish lifestyles, we we'll always need to have a little cash. This one's actually really good to I teach newbies. Most guards are nice enough to carry around a pocket full of change. Exactly. You can pick their Rather than just throwing them out into the them, wild and the hope that they can get it from a this few words, like actually have them practice it a few it, times you first. Can fence the goods online for some cash. Well, that's right. Look for a glow in a guard's back pocket. Sure sign of something valuable. Not Try to mention, they also just made this part optional. I didn't dumped. have to come back here. I chose to. Gimme. 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 You get a prize. A prize. Okay, that's enough of that guy. <laughs> it won't always be that easy. Guards are usually on the boot. As long as I don't bump into them, it shouldn't be a problem. All right, smooth talker. Try robbing this guy. Not a problem. I got this one in the bag. After I get it out of his pocket. And he automatically sneaks too, so you don't have you can hold a, up on a control stick as much as you want. Yay! Great so bomb! Uh, you didn't get to see him die, but I felt it. Knows, a job is only as successful as the getaway that's planned. I hear that. Some guards are not too keen on fighting toe to toe. You're not going to say I'm a lover, not a fighter. Well, not now. Huh? <laughs> not so. Look. There's no shame in running from a fight. Keeps you alive. Hold down the R1 button to sprint. Sounds easy. Prove it. I'm gonna have this guard attack you, and you'll have to run away to lose him. Whoa, hold up. Ready, set, go. <laughs> True friendship! Uh, where'd he go? <laughs> he dead. 
Nice escape, Sly. An unfortunate fact about running is that you make a lot of noise. Spread by a guard, and he's sure to notice you. Well, if I'm already running, might as well keep going. Good point. How about you try that? Run to this waypoint within six seconds, and then try and escape from the guards if they hear you. Come on. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Who do you take me for, Bentley? Ha ha. How about you stop setting these guards up to kill me? Well, you could always take them out instead. Now we're talking. <laughs> if a guard hasn't seen you, this episode you might go a little bit longer because him. of this. You paying oh, attention? Well. This is complicated. Of course, we're talking about taking out guards. Right. Sneak up behind him and hit the triangle button to knock him into the air. Then press the square button to slam him down hard. Sneak attack. Nice. So that's the triangle button to knock him into the air, then the square button for the slam. And welcome you to the jam. It. Now give this guy the business. <laughs> Everybody get up. It's time to slam now. Slam makes noise. Do it too close to another guard, and he'll be all over you. It's easy. You take out the first guy, then hide out when the second thug comes running. Wait until his back is turned, then strike. Try taking out both these guards without being caught. Without being caught. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Where are you coming, huh? Where are you going, huh? Go ahead, walk. Just walk away. Run away, run away from the pain. Yay, now I'm bringing. Yay. Nice work. I pity the guard that crosses your path. I pity the fool too. Now for the showstopper. See that boat slog up above that poor unsuspecting guard? Yeah. They're Feel committing like straight up murder sacrifices oh, yeah. for the this sake of his training. Release the boat. Make sure the guard's under its shadow before you, you know, knock him senseless. Look for those buttons around town. Yay. The place is littered those are actually machinery. really helpful around the place know too. What I mean? So that one was a little bit longer. And this episode, like I said, might run a little bit longer, but I want to get all of this taken care of here and now. As you know, we sometimes need reconnaissance photographs to plan for a heist. Ah, uh, the humble recon photo. The unsung hero of many a caper. Yep. I've outfitted your monocucob with a camera. Click down on the right analog stick to bring it up. I tell you, Bentley, you designed this thing really well. Oh, left God, no, no. Options. Not come options. Up and down. Reversed. Ah, there we go. Much better. And the Holy right analog crap. stick lets you zoom in and out. So easy. Of course, it won't uh, always be so easy. Always catches me off guard when it's it like I hold down point. and it goes that down. It's like, no! Difficult. That ain't right. That's not how it's supposed to be. Your targets can also It's not be how shit works in a 3D space. Getting a good shot that much more difficult. It's okay. So long as I'm quick with the zoom, I'll be fine. Let's put it to the test. Take a picture of each of these guards without getting caught. What do you take me for, Bentley? Let's get this one first. Ah, oh, bullshit. Ah, oh, shit. Come on, come on. One down, one to go. Hey, buddy. You're no banana fairy. My bonus, damn it. There you go, Bentley. Some wonderful pinups for our refrigerator. They're lovely. High art. Seriously? <laughs> no, but you've shown some real skill with a Monocucob's camera. Nice work. Ah, nice quips. 
The exchanges are a lot better in this, like the relations and shit. And then we got one more over here. It's a different color though. Hmm. It's Bentley time! Yay! All right, Bentley. Things can get pretty rough out in the field. You'd better be prepared. You can't control their faces in this one. Preparation is my middle name. My wheelchair is totally equipped. Good to hear. As a resident demolitions expert, you'll need to be handy with the bombs. No problem. Just have to hold down the triangle button, and out comes the goods. Okay, try dropping a bomb on that crate over there. Yep. A lot better in this game than in Sly 2. That's some quality pyrotechnics, but how are your bombs versus guards? Against sleeping guards, I'm like a Greek god. All fall before me. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Goodbye. Nice work. Now, how about someone awake? I just put them to sleep, too. My chair's been outfitted with a top-of-the-line sleep dart launcher. In fact, I even linked it to my binocucom. Smart. So you just click the right analog stick to bring it up. And to shoot, I press the R. Nice. Now get over there and bomb it before he wakes up. <laughs> All right, Bentley. You make this look easy. But how's your aim against moving guards? With a zoom function and nerves of steel, I'm ready for anything. He's a lot more... Ready for everything. It's a lot more confident. Strange. Ah, just toss it, why don't you? That's great. That chair's pretty sweet. Got any other gizmos in there? Yes, the best oh, yeah. part about it's it. It's my own design. The pickpocket pole, or the PPP for short. A fishing pole with a magnet? Ingenious, huh? By default, it's linked to the L1 button. And you can rob someone with that thing? I just keep the L1 button held down, sneak up behind a guy, connect with the magnet, then pull back to yank out the loot. Sounds just like fishing. Try it on this guy right here. Bentley? Kim? Oh, jeez. What the hell? Why did Bentley go so fast? That's not what I wanted at all. Oh, I'm an idiot. Kept holding R1. That's why. But yeah, he can pick pocket. Another prize? Yep, you get a prize. Eh. Okay. He served his purpose. I'm impressed with your pickpocketing technology, but how is it against someone in motion? Allow me to demonstrate. I just hold down the L1 button, attach, and pull. Couldn't be easier. Yep, it's great. That's the one thing I kept... Some of you may remember I tried that in slide 2 and kept failing because like, how do I pickpocket as Bentley? You don't, because I was remembering this game where you do, and I love it. It's great. And it's so simple, too. You don't even have to get that close. He actually is easier to pickpocket with than Sly, in my opinion. That chair of yours is a wonder. You've packed so much technology into such a small space. Nice screen. True bad. Let's head outside and get this operation underway. Yep, so with that all said, we will be going back to Venice in the next episode. Until then... Oh, I'm so excited. This has been Amentus. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Adios.
Ｔｈｅｌｅｔｉｃｓｔｈｅｌｅｔｉｃｓ。